Hello, my name is Sally Caselli. This is a comprehensive tutorial on using Microsoft Excel 2016. I have designed this tutorial to serve as a learning tool for anyone who wishes to learn Excel, even those who have dreaded it for years. We will start with the absolute basics and then proceed with the most commonly used features in today's business environment. The goal is to empower you with the familiarity and knowledge so that you can add Excel as a technology tool to your technology toolkit to advance your studies, careers, and resume. So please stick with me while we take this journey together. The concepts that you learned here apply also to the previous versions of Excel, such as Excel 2013, 2010, and 2007. So spend a few minutes here and there in this tutorial and you will end up saving hours in the future. Let's get started. First, the very basic concepts. And before we move any further here in Microsoft, in our study of Microsoft Excel, one of the new features in Excel 2016 is the Tell Me feature. And this is available in Word and other applications as of Microsoft Office as well. So if you don't know how to do something, you could click here on this little bar here and click on search for something. So let's say I want to adjust the margins or I want to add a footer. So you just search for it. You don't have to know where it is located within Excel and then you click on header and footer and it'll change it for you. Or charts and so on. So basically this is a tell me feature. Tell me what you want to do and I'll just get you there in doing it. And it'll take you to what you want it to search for. So it's a good feature to uh, get to know in Excel 2016. It is not available in previous versions of Excel. So as I mentioned, first things first, the first time you open Excel, this is what you'll be presented. Here on the left-hand side, you'll have a listing of recent documents that you might have opened. And then also here on the bottom left, you can open other files, Excel files or workbooks that you might have worked in the past. On the right hand side is a listing of various templates that you could utilize for using Excel. So in this case, instead of you having to, uh, let's say, uh, do an inventory list or let's say that you wanted to do a um, family budget, instead of you starting from scratch, you could pick one of those templates and uh, double click on it and uh, it will be downloaded and then you, all you have to do is plug in the numbers here. So let's go back here. Additionally, you can search by various categories and also search for online templates and download and utilize in the same way. Now, uh, as we are starting here, I wanted to also explain how do you get started with the first workbook and what are the different components in the application so that you can easily and effectively navigate in the application as you start using it. So. Uh, once you open Excel for the first time, if you're starting from scratch, you would simply click here on a blank workbook. At this point, let's navigate a little bit and understand how the application works before we move to anything else. So on the very top here, you have the file menu and the various different tabs, home, insert, page layout, formulas, and so on. Those are very similar to other Microsoft applications such as Word and uh, PowerPoint and so on. The idea is the same. So you have here the Home tab, which has all of these different sets of icons and functions as to what they do. Those are also arranged together in various groups. So for example, anything related to the fonts, uh, it's under the Fonts section or grouping. Anything under the alignment that you need to align the text and so on uh, for the different cells, it's under the alignment group. And then for anything related to numbers, it's under uh, the numbering group and then Anything related to the styles is under the styles group and so on. And that continues from tab to tab the same idea. It is also important to understand here that those tabs are organized just like in Word in a very particular order, uh, mostly depending on what you're doing and how you're working in an Excel spreadsheet. So for example, you might be tinkering with uh, initial design and calculations. Those calculations and designs and stuff are 
in the home tab starting with the font alignment number styles and then some basic calculations here you can insert other stuff such as formulas and other components you can uh, change here on the next tab the layout of your spreadsheet and we'll go through some of this stuff together then you can work with various formulas and uh, manipulate data and review the document here and then view it and change the viewing and your worksheet now here in the bottom you can also you have this scrolling bar here typically you might have one or more worksheets here in the bottom now let me explain this to a couple terms in Excel first Excel is uh, designed for you to do calculations just like budgets or projections and anything that has that you want the computer to calculate cells or values via a formula you probably have heard the term spreadsheet spreadsheet is just a file that contains those calculations and it's typically utilizing Excel or some kind of spreadsheet software in Excel those files could be referred as workbooks so sometimes you might hear the term workbook so the workbook and worksheet are used interchangeably now the other thing that to remember here is that um, particularly in a workbook you have what's called the worksheets. The worksheets are those, think of it just like the pages on a book. So you have, for example, sheet one here, you could add another worksheet here. Now you have sheet two, sheet three, and so on. So now as you enter calculations, and we'll get to those in a moment, in your specific worksheet, you can link those calculations with other values in other worksheets as well so now those worksheets they make up the workbook now in each worksheet you also have and again please stick uh, with me at this point these are very basic but you have to understand the basics in order to do the next steps in this tutorial here so in a particular workbook or even a worksheet here you have these columns a b and so on then you also have the rows so you have the columns uh, by the letters here and the rows are represented by a number then you also have those cells for example this is referred to as b3 that would be the reference for this cell and so on so that uh, the cell that we also have clicked on at this point it's referred to as the active cell now in each one of those cells you can insert text like we inserted up here you can insert numbers and format those numbers either as general numbers or as currency or percentage you can format that cell to be a percentage or you can format it uh, to uh, be plain text as i mentioned earlier the other thing that is important to understand in excel is that uh, you also have formulas and that's what performs those calculations so for example the formulas in Excel, this is very important to remember that all the formulas start with the equal sign. Let's do a very basic calculation at this point. So let's say on B2 we have uh, 35 and then on B3 we have 56. And now on here on B4 we want to get the total of these two values. So one of the easiest way would be to do here and I'm just jumping ahead a little bit here we want to put in there a formula so now that formula it starts again remember it, it starts with the equal sign and then in this case I'm going to put the function here sum and we'll get to explain that further and then we are going to add here b2 all the way through b3 in this case the all the way through it's represented by the colon and then we hit enter so I simply selected that range b2 through b3 and then we hit enter and now that notice it's 91 if any of these numbers change then that total will be updated automatically so that's the uh, basic idea of spreadsheets so we have the, the workbooks and then the worksheets now those worksheets here in the bottom you'll be able to navigate from left to right once you have more that uh, don't once they don't fit in here you'll navigate to the right and you also have this scrolling bar here to navigate within the same worksheet
If you wanted to rename those worksheets, you can simply right click on them and then choose to rename it, give it a different name. For example, this would be January and so on. One other tip before we uh, proceed any further here, it's also important to remember that um, the best way to learn the application in Excel besides going through this tutorial is to basically click on the different functions and see what's available and what each one of those icons does and then try it. Uh, select stuff in here and tinker with it because it's not going to break. You're just going to know then as to where things are located. So stick with me at this point and now we'll continue into more of the detailed application features and learn how to do some of the calculations. So we'll start with some of the additional basic concepts in doing some of the calculations in here. I'm going to utilize here a worksheet that I'll also post for you online to access and follow the videos. So uh, keep in mind that you can control those worksheets by these buttons here from one to the other to move from one page to the other. You can also click here in the bottom of the worksheets to move from one to the other or by clicking on the next page button on the orange area here.